Hi, can we stop letting Kathy be in charge of anything and making decisions ever again? Thanks. Hello everyone, I am Decker Random 42, the one, the only, the original, wow that's loud, your favorite YouTube harpy, Kathleen Kennedy just cannot be satisfied. You know what, what, what would it take to get a production from start to finish without Kathy throwing her, you know, her, I, I can't, I can't say if it's literal or not, but basically... It's a hissy fit. It's a hissy fit. She's throwing her hissy fit and demanding what? Because she's not happy. We don't get the Obi-Wan series. All right. Well, let's t let's take a look at that. Now, we've got a couple of different articles here. The first one, this is exclusive from Collider, but, you know, movie web's also running with this. Obi-Wan Disney Plus series reportedly on hold after production shuts down. Well, they have their exclusive here. The crew is sent home. Last week, troubling rumors began swirling about the upcoming Disney Plus series, revolving around the character of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ewan McGregor is poised to reprise his role from the Star Wars prequels in a story set eight years after the events of Revenge of the Sith. Right, right. So so here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Since I've been sick and been so busy with Star Trek, I missed uh, the, the little early reportings on this one. And full disclosure, I thought it was somebody just jumping the gun. I thought it was just some unverified rumor account. So I didn't want to jump in and make a video on that when especially a lot of other people were. Well, it turns out I probably should have. I can admit when I'm wrong. And yeah, it actually was something here. It was something. The rumors hinted at potential trouble behind the scenes. And while we're hearing that the show isn't canceled... We're hearing it's been delayed. Oh, it's delayed indefinitely. I keep hearing it's delayed indefinitely in that the production, like the crew, ha are out looking for other jobs. Two independent sources with knowledge of the situation tell Collider that the Obi-Wan series has been put on hold as the crew that had assembled at Pinewood Studios London was sent home. A time frame was not given, but the crew was told the show would be down indefinitely. See, that sounds like it's canceled to me. That sounds like it's canceled to me. Like they just said, go home, go find a different job. We're hearing that Luke, Lucasfilm, wow, Lucasfilm president and Obi-Wan producer Kathleen Kennedy was not happy with the scripts. See, this is why I say don't let her, what is she happy with, right? What, The Last Jedi? That's the one she was happy with. That she, she's happy with how Ray turned out. You can't stop me. I'm a Jedi from Jakku. That's what she's happy with. She should not be in charge of anything creative. Write the checks, get the coffee, make sure you have the crew at the right location for the right amount of money and the right budget. Do the numbers, Kathy. Don't do the creative because because what? How many people have you fired? You fired Lord and Miller and we got Ron Howard's solo ver vision, which was basically just a copy and paste generic. It was as generic as it could have been. You know, every time we, we keep getting, she keeps having these little disagreements, these creative kerfuffles behind the scene. And I love that. I love getting to say kerfuffle every once in a while. Don't let her make decisions anymore. Sources tell us that what will most likely happen next is the scripts will be reworked with the hopeful goal of reassembling the summer. But there's always a possibility that time frame could shift. Well, you've got Ewan McGregor. He's a very popular in-demand actor still, despite everything that's gone down recently in his personal life. He's still a very... He's a good box office draw. All right, he's still going to put butts in the seats for now, for now. I, sh I, should, I should stress, for now. So he's going to move on to something else. He's not going to stay and not work for years and years and years on end while they're waiting to wrap this thing up. No, they need to get something finished and shot. And if they end up just retooling this quickly, what are we going to get? What are we, what are we really going to get? It sounds like Kennedy would rather ensure... That the story being told with this Disney Plus series is as good as it can be on the page before they roll cameras. And that rather than move forward with hesitations, she's asked they go back and rework what's on the page. Maybe that's a bad idea. Maybe that's a bad idea. 
This makes a lot of sense as Lucasfilm has a history with troubled productions. Yes, but the ones... Okay, so Rogue One was halfway decent. That one turned out pretty well. But Solo didn't. Solo didn't. It didn't turn out very well at all. Look at who she left. She left Ryan Johnson. She left Ryan Johnson there, and that was not the right decision at all, in my opinion, anyway. The Obi-Wan delay also comes on the heels of a chilly reception of Star Wars Rise of Skywalker and the third and final, final film in the new Lucasfilm trilogy. Well, can you really call it a trilogy? Because they really didn't have anything to do with each other. They were just three films that came out one after the other, now didn't they? Not only has the concluding chapter in the Star Wars trilogy earned the worst critical reception of any Star Wars movie thus far, it's on pace with being the lowest grossing film in the new trilogy. Even though it still made a billion. Yeah, but it's still a disappointment. <sighs> the Obi-Wan series actually began life as a feature film. And then Bob Iger said, no, 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 no. We're halting all feature films until we can actually get these fixed. We're dropping too many. They're getting crapped out like fast food assembly line crap. Let's, let's stop. Let's hold off on these. Lucasfilm is being tight-lipped in regards to its future film plans and beyond. Kevin Feige produced feature, maybe a new trilogy from Ryan Johnson that's still in development. Yeah, yeah, I, we, we still, we, we're really, really going with that one, too. I don't believe that one's happening, the Ryan Johnson one. And maybe a Taika Waititi Star Wars movie. The production is already underway of the season two of The Mandalorian. See, now, here, here's the thing, though. The Obi-Wan series is another one that people are actually looking forward to because it's Ewan McGregor. He's going to do a decent job. We already like him from the prequels. I'm not even a fan of the prequels, but I still like Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi. <sighs> this, they don't know what they're doing. They still don't know what they're doing, and they need to stop letting Kathleen Kennedy make any decisions. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Sorry for my voice. I'm still super under the weather. See you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.